What's happening with our forecast? Uh, the forecast having its own sort of fun, too. Yeah. We are going to see some ups and downs continue. We had a cooler day yesterday. Mm -hmm. Today's going to be warmer, then cold again as we get into the weekend. It's just up and down. And when you get it up and down like that, you do bring that potential for some rough weather as well. And that could be on the way as we get into tomorrow. So a lot happening here over the next three days. 44 out there right now on the Clark Roof at Canvas South Waco. Feels like 40 when you factor in a light wind. That wind will pick up as we go through the day. So the 40s you feel right now will warm up as these winds come out of the south, bringing back that warm, moist Gulf air from South Texas that will be rolling in. In fact, by afternoon, we'll be climbing into the upper 60s, lower 70s. But that's exactly where we should be this time of year. So finally, a day where it's very typical spring-like day in Central Texas, and that will lead to overnight staying fairly warm. Eventually, all that muggy air leads to the potential for strong thunderstorms tomorrow as a cold front approaches. There is the threat for severe weather, and it does include all of Central Texas, though I think that bigger threat, the threat for the strongest thunderstorms, will be found east of I-35, where things will be a little bit more numerous. Now, we're watching for the potential for hail up to the size of golf balls, winds to 60 miles per hour, and there is a low-end tornado threat, though I do think the bigger threat will be that hail and that wind that could come out of some of these thunderstorms. Today, quiet. No, none of that on the way. The clouds will build in. We may see a stray shower, but that's about it. We'll wake up tomorrow morning with a couple of showers out there, and we'll monitor as we get into the middle of the day to see if any of these showers can grow upscale into something a little stronger, maybe a scattered thunderstorm that could blow up out to the east. If that happens, it'll have the potential to spin. That's when we'll mainly have to watch for that tornado threat. Again, that's east of I-35. We'll monitor late in the afternoon into the evening as that front approaches for more thunderstorms to blow up along it. I think these will carry more of a hail threat and then eventually transition into a wind threat as they try to combine into a complex and work southeast into the Brazos Valley. All activities should be done by midnight, though we'll have some lingering showers going on into Friday. And it'll be colder Friday with that north wind blowing. In fact, Friday may feel like the 40s for most of the day. 77 for Thursday, 39 when you wake up on Friday, 54 Friday. Saturday morning, we could have a light freeze, and then we'll get another shot of cooler air and some showers rolling in early next week. Monday, we may not get out of the 40s for highs. Thanks, John.